from freedom fighter, chamber of commerce, politics, diplomacy, being active, be, being a prisoner, tortured. Now I am a researcher and I'm doing very, very good uh, career in astrophysics. In Camp David uh, uh, negotiation with the Israelis, I came into conclusion right has no meaning without power. So I decided to leave politics. And I said I'm going to work in physics. Some of my friends thought that I'm an idiot. You have a very good career, you have a very good position. You are invited to work like ambassador in some countries or deputy ambassador in other countries. I see where I'm going. Six years later, I was an astrophysicist. 14 years away of science and research, I came back. Even if I work in other field, if somebody talk about physics, about astronomy, I feel like a child dying for knowledge and hunger for uh, knowledge and education. The physics is, is awake in me. It's close to me. It's close to who I am. Being a prisoner, being a politician for Palestine, now I have physics for Palestine. I need to build up uh, an infrastructure, a human infrastructure of physicists, young, enthusiastic men and women who wanted to make a difference and contribute to the human civilizations. So I said I want to go out for a few months it's just to keep up with my research because I have a new discipline and a very important and I got a job in uh, uh, Virginia Tech and I was affiliated in NASA in Hampton, Virginia. Uh, in a human level if you have a, a committed persons who have a wonderful idea and have a system to protect you know them socially economically then they can go and reach the moon because there is no genetically engineered people who are successful and other for not successful. It's work, devotion, management, leadership who made the difference, and they did. And we can do that. Over the last 21 days, more than 1,100 Palestinians have been killed, 5,200 wounded, at least 700 civilians among the dead, including more than 350 children. Today, we're going to find out about one of those kids. Suleiman Baraka is a Palestinian astrophysicist. He works here in the United States at Virginia Tech with NASA. On December 29th, Israeli warplanes bombed the house where his wife and four children were staying. His 11-year-old son, Ibrahim, was killed. His wife and three other children are now homeless in Gaza, along with 17 members of his family. Suleiman Baraka has never before told his story in the United States. He joins us now from Norfolk, Virginia. Welcome to Democracy Now! I didn't forget, but I have enough power to fly over my sorrows and my loss and to keep on you know, working in my research. I decided to come and start working from the school where my child was and the International Astronomical Union, thankfully, denoted me a telescope. So the first activity, it was in the school where my son was. I gathered his uh, peers and classmates, mm -hmm. and I showed them the moon and, 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 and other uh, planets, the world sky. And I was very happy that even I was thinking my son was looking at us from somewhere that I am you know, hugging his classmate and teaching them peace, love, and science, not anything else. It was clear for me, when you go back to Gaza, you are not in Washington, D.C., or California, or in France. You will work in a deprivative area. Uh, you will work in, uh, in uh, uh, low-profile resources uh, institutions. But for me, if you truly believe that you are living in the lands of a prophet, you have to be a messenger. So I have my message. 
I wanted to build, create, establish the infrastructure of astronomy education in Palestine, not in Gaza. I wanted to incite, to promote, to encourage establishments of space science programs. And I wanted that astronomy being a part of our curriculum for schools and universities equally. Um, I usually go for research in Europe, so the idea of UNESCO chair came to my mind in 2010 while I was in Paris. I met UNESCO official, uh, officials, so I love it and network along you know, Europe, United States. The presidents of the three universities, so Islamic Azhar and Al-Aqsa University, has agreed to sign one A4 page with the three stamps of three universities, with three signatures in one page that I wrote. And that was our application to UNESCO that I united the three universities with different ideologies. The first Musalah reconciliation in Palestine was this. So I have one strong application that we, the three universities, we, the three presidents of Gaza universities, are eager to have a UNESCO chair in Palestine. That was supported by uh, NASA, French Space Agency, universities in Europe, NASA, uh, EIU, International Chemical Union, and also the Palestinian Authority, Ramallah wrote a lot of support. We have this big fund, two years and one month, we have the UNESCO chair granted to Palestine. So we have the first UNESCO chair in astronomy in the whole Arab world, in Gaza, without having even the science you know, traditionally taught in Palestine. We told them that we will start creating our infrastructure human infrastructure in, this, in these disciplines, and we got the UNESCO chair. The first achievement of this UNESCO chair that we have a lab. We have a lab here that we wanted to teach a space weather and a space simulation in Gaza and make our young researchers part of the international community and the disciplines. And there are many, many projects in the future. These were ideas, unspoken ideas or dreams. In three years, we have a central organ. We have UNESCO chair. I thought a course at Al-Aqsa University, first course ever in astronomy. Now, people start talking about astronomy. People start uh, uh, feeling that they, they, they need to have this as part of the Palestinian educational system. How I envision this, in five years, I hope, we will have our first graduates in, in astronomy, astrophysics, and even in cosmology. In 10 years from now, I can bet that Palestine, even, God forbid, we will stay 10 years under incubation, we, we will have scientists. And inshallah, we can have some people discover things in the space from Gaza and West Bank and Jerusalem. Because we have very strong potential, and also, we have the experience to survive and work under unbelievable conditions. And we made a difference. Even the first Antifada. Our all schools and universities are closed, but education never stopped.